My name is Teresita Marquez, and I am the program manager here at the Family Wellness Center. Uh, I've been with the council for 16 years now, so it's been a while. <laughs> Physically and financially, uh, the Hispanic Health Council were the ones that built the Family Wellness Center, but we would not have been able to do it without the input of the community to see if we were either wasting our time or if we were really bringing services to the community that we serve. So a lot of times, um, healthcare is an issue in our community, especially with the immigrant population. They don't have insurance, they don't have anything like that. So there was a need for them to have a place to go to get just basic medical screenings. And so that kind of checked off one of the boxes for us. And then, you know, um, getting a good job, having the training to be able to obtain those jobs that checked off another box with us with Goodman University. So really the center was built by the community because we built it according to what they asked us for. So when we think about wellness, we think about the complete person, right? We don't just think about, ouch, I have a cut and I need to put a bandaid on it. A person involves so many other things. So you can be physically healthy, but if you're not financially healthy, if you're not able to provide for your family, if you don't have training to be able to provide for your family, you're gonna be lacking as a whole person. So the vision of the Family Wellness Center is really to address the person as a whole um, and try to address different domains that we have here at the Family Wellness Center. So a few of those domains are the physical, the occupational, environmental, financial, spiritual, and some other ones, right? So when we think about the person, we think about them within those eight domains that we have here at the center. So we try to provide services, at least one, if not more, to kind of take care of each one of those domains that exist. So in order to make the Family Wellness Center happen, in order to address all of those domains, we needed to find partners that would help us to address those domains. Because at the end of the day, the Hispanic Health Council has a lot of services, but we can't do everything. So instead of us trying to figure out how we were gonna pull things off, kind of reinventing the wheel, uh, we decided that we were gonna reach out to partners in the area so that they can help us address the domains that we didn't have any services for. So some of the um, partners that we have here at the Family Wellness Center are Hartford Healthcare. They have their neighborhood clinic here in the building twice a week. Um, Goodwin University has most of the second floor and they're providing manufacturing training. We also recently started a healthcare uh, class and some of the people that come here are working on getting their guard cards and taking the security guard training. So as we keep moving forward, things keep developing, keep getting better and better. Another one of our partners is The Village. So they're offering financial literacy and uh, therapy for family and children. Uh, Levo is also a very big part of the center. They provide us with our beautiful hydroponics that are right in our front windows. And currently they're finishing off the last phase of the project. They're adding in more systems. We're also partners with Greater Hartford Legal Aid. So Rafael, one of their lawyers, comes here on Wednesdays to help provide legal guidance and advice to any of the partners in the community that need that kind of help. And a lot of the services that are literally right in their own backyard, if we didn't exist, they would have to go somewhere else outside of the city here in Hartford to receive those services. So at the end of the day, the object of my personal goal is to have a place that's just as good as the suburbs. I want them to come in, I want them to see the nice chairs, I want them to see the nice offices, and feel like they belong here, like this is really a place for them, that they're just as much deserving as a nice clean space with nice offices, all of the good medical equipment, nice computers that they can come in and use, that they have a right to that. So that's been kind of one of the challenges that I've been faced with, Sometimes in the afternoon, I'll go and I'll sit in the front, in front of the windows, and people will walk by and kind of just like peek in the windows. And I'll crack the door open. I'll say, come on. They're like, me? Are you sure you want me to go in there? I'm like, yes, this is as much yours as it is mine. 
I consider the center to be my home away from home. And so when people walk in through those doors, I want them to feel like they're coming home. Like they have a safe space where they can express themselves, they can get medical attention, they can get training, they can participate with Mental Health Connecticut downstairs in the basement and do some art. I want them to feel as if I've invited them to come for a cup of coffee and just come and hang out and have a good time, but also taking care of all of their needs so that we can address them holistically with all of those eight domains. That's beautifully said, thank you.